hi guys what is up welcome back to my channel welcome to an impromptu vlog i figured i would just vlog new year's weekend see what we get up to it's gonna be kind of like a i'll pick up the camera when i want to vlog kind of vlog which are my favorite honestly but it's three i have the day off matt is working and i just wanted to get a ton of errands done before like new year's weekend just to, like i don't know go into a new year with a clean house fresh start we did another big declutter of stuff like extra glasses we have and all that we also did an exciting home thing today which i'll show you guys when we get home but i've just been running around all afternoon with like returns from the holidays and stuff and just i wanted to get it done and i've been working all week so it was kind of nice to just have a day to like chill but yeah we're gonna do a little new year's weekend vlog i just stopped at the mall i had to return the jacket i got a jacket from reitman's before i bought my super pop so i was just returning that and I stopped at the liquor store because I see a lot of people do this and my friend Michaela also did this year too and I think it's fun. I bought like a bunch of these like little like $4 bottles of champagne and I got each of us two and we're going to write our two biggest goals for the year on them and then we'll pop them when those goals happen. So I thought that'd be a fun little thing to do tonight. I also at the mall got us bubble tea as like a little treat. Although Matt's doesn't taste as good as it normally does, honestly. But they really like loaded up the tapioca and lychee today, honestly. But Matt usually gets some kind of like brown sugar one. So I got him a coffee one. And then I always get a strawberry slush with lychee. That's very yummy. But I'm heading home now. Oh, I also stopped at the thrift store. One of my goals, I think, for 2023 is to not buy any new books. Because honestly, you guys, you can literally, if you just wait like a month, you'll be able to find it at a thrift store. I have been wanting to read this for so long, and I found it at the thrift store. And better yet, it was at the dollar thrift store. This was $1.25. And then this is like one of those books that like, if I found it at the thrift store, I'd read it, but I don't think I'd pay full price for it. We were liars. Both of these books, $2.50 amazing we love to see it i really love survive the night a lot of people said that this is better but i feel like riley sager is just like a hit or miss author for people so anyways those are my scores of the day but yeah my guidelines for 2023 are obviously kindle limited is fine because i pay for that membership kindle daily deals because i mean those books are really inexpensive um but i don't want to be buying like brand new physical books so that's just like one of my rules for this year just because i think they're so expensive and like i said if you wait like a month or two you can find it somewhere like facebook marketplace or at their thrift store so anyways those are my updates but we're gonna head home and give matt his bubble tea and yeah we're also in matt's car we're vibing in the jetta and yeah but welcome to this impromptu vlog i'm very excited about it honestly let's head home and i'll show you guys the really exciting update a tweet for you, for you. Bubble tea. okay guys 4 30 it's literally so dark in here we just took still for a walk i don't even think you guys can tell i'll have to show you guys tomorrow but actually you can see a little bit i hope it's just not really blurry but matt's brother was super kind and he came over today and they started the tiling for the fireplace which is really exciting the only thing is that we just have to do the grout still i don't know when they're gonna do that but very exciting progress has been made I need to take the tree down yet because it brings me a lot of joy i got some espresso machine accessories it's gonna give you guys a haul when all of it comes this is the first this is one. the whisk thing oh you see that on tiktok baby you need to i need to like look at it i can't it's so small it's so small and you like whisk your espresso yeah, you go like are you gonna make me good coffee tomorrow yeah that's a new tamper matt bought this this is a heavy duty this is like gonna be next level coffee in 2023 mm -hmm. and then what does that thing do it goes on it's a dosing funnel Oh. That is a proper look at that, look at that crema. Look at that range. We're going on an adventure because Matt's been working from home all day and wants to get out of the house. So he's gonna take us on our grocery adventure. We're gonna see how the man does it. He's gonna show us the deals. 77 cent pasta. Spaghetti. These ones. Just us and all of our pasta. All right, we're home from our grocery adventure. I wasn't even gonna give you guys a haul because it was boring and Matt said, no, you have to give the people what they want. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got. So you we saw we- We want haul, we want haul. We, <laughs> we want it's not a very exciting grocery haul. It was just like, uh, these are the things on sale. So that's what we're buying in this economy. And then I'm gonna unpack all this and then I'll show you guys what we got. All right, here's my grocery haul. Matt's having some greens. Um, yeah, this was all just like stuff that was on sale or price matches. All right, bagels were on sale, so we got blueberry and everything. I feel like people have such exciting hauls and they go to like Whole Foods and like these fun places, but we just shop at the cheap grocery stores because I'm not trying to spend all my money on groceries, you know what I mean? Um, prosciutto and salami because you got points if you bought this brand. Grapes, Matt's favorite granola. 
um, milk was on sale. I really love animal crackers. We got laughing cow because it was a price match. We don't usually get this, but we treated ourselves. Jalapeno and I say jalapeno weird. Jalapeno. Yeah, you say jalapeno, very weird. jalapeno. <laughs> and garlic and herb. Stocked up on tea. I go through it so quick because I double bag. That's probably a sex term. <laughs> and then like these were a really good deal. It was $15.99, but if you had a piece of optimum card, it was $11.99. So we got two of them, which we love a good salted nut around here. <laughs> Already, no, Matt got his vanilla yogurt. I got my Siggy's plain yogurt. And that is the not very exciting haul, but this is real life. A little Friday night chef's plate. Matt's making it. Barbecue black bean taquitos. Yum. Yum, yum. Also, don't put, I don't like this on it, so just do What's the cheddar that? cheese. The goat cheese or whatever, feta. That's fine. I'll put it. Is, you can put it on yours. Feta. Yeah, I don't, you don't like, like it. No. That juicy poopy. <laughs> I need to do like a good, maybe deep clean of the freezer this time. Yeah, you do because I don't know if some of this stuff would have been in there for a hot minute. Yeah, that's hot what I was wondering. Minute. Okay, that's fine. I'm just trying to have a hug. I'm just trying to have a party. A little party? Yeah. <gasps> We're gonna, watch, we're gonna watch onion glass tonight. Uh, spooky glass is at. What's it called? Hi. Hi. What's that movie called? Hi. Knives Out. Onion. Knives Out. Glass onion. It's cuffing season. Outfit of the night. My shirt is Epcot. Babe, you already did the outfit of the night. I'm I'm you asked if you were the cutest YouTuber. No, I'm redoing that clip. Oh. Also, if you guys have never seen my tattoos, I'm gonna free tattoo tour. <laughs> This is my first one. Okay, these are the ones I got this Stop year. With the sound. Stop this is the one I got for my parents because I love them. And then I have this one, which is my Scarlet Witch, WandaVision, Elizabeth Olsen, Wanda Maximoff tattoo. All of her million names. And then my outfit is very cute. Stella, do you want to say good morning to the vlog? Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. I look wild. Stella, can you say good morning? Happy New Year's. I got a pop cup. She gets crazy eyes when she eats a pup cup. Look. I hope that makes someone's day because watching Stella eat a pup cup is the. F is that yummy? Eleven forty. I've had just such a relaxing Saturday morning. I honestly just want to have a really relaxing weekend. I think today and tomorrow, and then Monday because Matt and I are off because New Year's falls on the weekend. I think we're gonna have like a productive start to 2023 and like you know like empty the fridge out just like do a deep clean all that kind of stuff so i really just want to relax this weekend and i actually wasn't even going to continue the vlog going because i was like this is going to be so boring but i do think it's really important to show just rest and relaxation but i got up at like 9 30 which is kind of crazy stella never sleeps in that late she's like an alarm clock she is up at 7 30 8 max and i guess she was really tired because she slept in this morning Matt has been gone all morning. I don't even know when he's gonna be back. He's helping his brother out. Matt has two brothers. One is the one that has kids. And then Matt's other brother and his wife are building a house right now. And he is a contractor. So he is like able to go in and do some of the stuff himself. And Matt, bless his heart, I just, I freaking love him so much, obviously. But Matt just wants to learn. Like he always wants to learn. Now that we have our own home, he just wants to be handier. And so he just like loves learning. So any opportunity he has to like help his brother or my dad, because my dad's actually renovating our family home right now, he just like wants to help. So that's where he is. It's so cute. I love it. And it also gives me some alone time, which is great. I spent the morning watching YouTube and replying to comments and I am like 90% done my 2022 business bookkeeping, which is great. I really slacked off this year and next year. I said this in my um, reset video that I want to be better about doing my expenses and my stuff monthly. Uh, so yeah, that's what I did this morning. It's just silly because it takes me literally, like if I were to do it every month, it would take me like maybe an hour, right? To go through my credit business credit card and take all my subscriptions and all that. But I'm silly and I didn't. And because most of my subscriptions are in USD, like Epidemic Sound, um, YouTube Premium, and Canva, not Canva, TubeBuddy, the amounts fluctuate every month. So I can't even do like the subscription amount times 12 because it changes. But I actually don't mind it. I really enjoy bookkeeping. I love anything that has to do with finances and an Excel spreadsheet. Like I am a 
sucker for it. So I honestly didn't mind doing it, but that's what I spent my morning doing. We've got the Avengers sweater on. Starbucks order today. I wasn't even gonna get Starbucks, but I was like, you know what? I don't know how much longer we're gonna have Irish cream for. And that is my favorite syrup. So this was just my order. It's kind of been my go-to. I also finished Pretty Girls yesterday or last night, I should say. I stayed up pretty late finishing it. I don't know what to rate it. It's definitely at least a four. It's not a five though. I found I did not like how early the twist came and the like sub twist with the twist wasn't like that surprising to be honest. And it was a good book, but I found like after like the twist was revealed, like what 50% of the way through the book, it just like kind of dragged on. It was really good and I loved the premise of it. Um, and like some points I was like genuinely like, wait, what? But overall it wasn't a five star thriller for me at least. It was still really good. It definitely got me out of my slump. Um, also, can we normalize not wanting to make New Year's plans? I kind of feel like New Year's is a little overhyped, honestly. We might have Matt's brother and his wife over for dinner, but um, that's like literally it. Like I don't want to do anything. Honestly, I would like be content to just watch some movies. I really want to watch Endgame because I saw someone post this on Facebook. You start Endgame at 9.29 p.m. on New Year's Eve. Tony will snap at midnight. I did not know that. I'll put it here for you guys so you can read it. But isn't that cool? Matt, I also watched Glass Onion last night, which was pretty good. I love the Knives Out movies. They're really funny and awesome. It kind of reminds me of a giant White Lotus episode. And decide what I want to do right now if I want to like edit for a little bit. No, I'm not going to edit this weekend. I told myself I'm going to take a break. It's also really rainy, let me show you. It's like so gross out. It's actually really warm. It's like in the 40s today. So the snow is definitely all melting. I don't think you can really tell how hard it's raining, but it, the snow is just like starting to melt and it's just like kind of gross out. And it's just like super like overcast, kind of like foggy today. It's not really the vibe. Life is very hard for Stella apparently. She's down a little snooze in the kitchen. Today. Can I brag now that it just put away? <laughs> or we have our lunch. Going to your parents at like lunchtime? Yeah. Thank you. Coffee! Good morning to this cutie girl. Oh my goodness, you're the cutest dog in the world. Good morning guys, happy New Year's Day. I just woke up. We love a good sleep in. Good. Good morning, you guys. Oh, I forgot to take out my little skincare clips. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. Good morning, guys. Happy New Year's Day. Like I said, a lot of my, like, New Year's reset content was, like, batch film. So I was actually able to take, like, the last, I don't know, four or five days off, which felt really nice. But I never really view vlogging as, like, work. To me, the work is, like, I give kudos to anyone who does Vlogmas because the work to me is, like, the daily editing, uploading, filming. It's not like filming in general. It's just like all the work you have to do every 24 hours. I like to do a little bit of editing every day for my three uploads a week. So anyways, kudos to anyone who does Vlogmas because like the five days of daily uploads were like killed me, honestly. And I really wanted to start Game of Thrones. I've never watched it. And now that I'm in my fantasy book era, I figured it was time to watch it. And the only reason I never watched it is just because I thought it was like not overhyped. But you know when a show's talked about so much, it makes you like kind of not interested in watching it kind of how I felt but Matt's watched it and he was like I'll rewatch it with you and now that we have Crave we can watch it so <clears throat> we started that last night and then went to bed at 10 like we didn't make it to midnight I don't know I'm just I I think New Year's Eve is like a little overrated I think New Year's in general like as much as I love like a fresh start new year it still just feels like the same year nothing feels different you know but anyways I have lots of house updates for you guys so we picked up yesterday some shelves for right here. They were out of stock at Ikea, but we ended up going to Home Depot and they had the same ones. They were like a little bit pricey. <laughs> they were like a tiny bit more expensive. Like these ones were about $30 each and the Ikea ones I want to say were like 20 something. We didn't know when the Ikea ones were coming back in stock. So we we're like, let's just get these ones. I'm really excited. Matt is going to cut them down and put them up. And then we can style them. I'm so excited because that means we can maybe go thrifting this week and like find some cute little pieces for it. Because you guys know, it's just fun to thrift it. 
so I'm really excited. I'm literally such a cute video. I'm so excited. I did get a comment from you guys. I asked you what videos you wanted to see in the new year, and a lot of you guys, um, I asked you guys on Instagram and on YouTube, and a bunch of you guys said an updated house tour, and I plan on doing that on the two-year mark of us moving in, which is in May. So I think I'm gonna do a whole like two-year later home tour because there's just like a lot I want to do over the winter, just with like painting and stuff, nothing major, but just like paint and you know tie everything together with not everything obviously, but like. Just some little things i want to do first i'm actually planning on doing a diy bathroom reno which is going to be so fun in my bathroom upstairs so we really want to take a break from the big renovations this year obviously the kitchen was a lot of money it was so worth it but i've i've said that i want this year to just be about you know saving investing traveling like we're definitely gonna do some smaller things but we're not gonna do like a huge renovation this year I swear to god okay look i bought mad airpods because i'm a really nice girlfriend but the noise canceling on these things is too much because he literally can't hear me and i think he does it on purpose um but i, I was asking is a vanity the thing in your bathroom that your sink is on yes yeah so we're gonna do like a little diy bathroom right now but the plan for today is we're having a chill day but my definition of chill and matt's definition of chill are very different matt is like he wants to do home projects which is fine i love that for him for me i just want to sit and watch and chill that's what i'm gonna do we're going over to his parents for lunch come home have a chill night and then tomorrow is our stat holiday because new year's falls on a weekend and everything is like open so i think we're gonna go out and about i really need to go to home science in winters i need to get still a new dog bed we ended up throwing hers out it was just like it's three years old it's disgusting so we want to get her a new one and i have some pjs to return and man, I just love a good home sense state, you guys know. So that is the plan, but we're gonna put these shelves, well, wait, Matt's gonna put these shelves up. I'm so excited about them. Hi, I'm talking about the tile, not about Stella Rooney, sorry. Um, do you wanna tell them something? What are you trying to tell them? What's, what do you wanna tell the vlog, Stella? What are you trying to tell them? Anyways, I'm so excited. Um, it looks so, so good. So we just need to put the little pieces of trim back and then spray paint this. And it looks so good. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and then I'm gonna caulk the sides. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure because it's oh, cause the wall is bowed. Yeah. The walls are bowed out. Cha ching! Wow, look at that stash. <laughs> Alrighty, first one is up. It looks like a built in. It's gonna look so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Update Matt did the trim down here. And he cocked it, so it looks like it's a built-in. It really which, like, does. It really does. It looks really good. I'm watching Brianna's one second a day video, which I've tried to do like three years in a row, and I never do it. So this is the year I do it. But look who I found. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> look at this little cutie gal. Just a cozy little Sunday night, having some Costco ramen. Yum, I'm so excited about this. I feel like when we eat like a late lunch, we don't really want a huge dinner. So I'm just, I'm just boiling some water. And then we're gonna have a salad with it to like balance it all out. There's an update on the shelves. They look so good, I'm excited to style them this week. I'm gonna get the rest of our cocktail books from downstairs and then I'm gonna grab some frames and i found some prints on etsy that i want to put so i think it's gonna look really really great matt did a fantastic job you did a great job thank you <laughs> i love this color on you thank you very much a street corn inspired salad and then i made ramen and it looks so good sometimes you just need a good old bowl of ramen you know nothing nothing complicated Rob's not a lot of protein in this, but like, it's fine. Wow. King of self-care over here. Just pulled out some, what do you, why did you leave it on the counter like that? Do you have two or one? I have one. You literally left that on the counter. What's wrong with that? Why do I always have to fix your iPad? Because I'm not good at this. Okay, this one is like fucking wrinkled. It's fallen. it's. I 
Okay. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday, but it's basically Sunday. It's our stat today for New Year's, so Matt and I are both off, which is so nice. I'm just cutting the tag off of my little $4 old navy shoe. We're going to go out and run some errands. I had a nice, relaxing morning, and then I just cleaned my bathroom because one of my goals for this year is to clean my bathroom more because I hate doing it. But we're going to go run some errands. I want to go to our favorite coffee shop. They just reopened after Christmas break. We're going to go to Winners. We're going to just have a little date day. We love running errands together. It's like one of our favorite ways to spend quality time together. We're going to go to Costco. And I need deodorant somewhere, but maybe a Costco. And I'll probably stock up on CeraVe at Costco. I don't know where else we're going to go. Matt, where are we going? Uh, oh, yeah. We have to drop off some stuff. But can we stop at Art of Bean first? Yes. I want a scone. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's boogie. We have the caffeine. I got a drip coffee. Wow. Matt got an Americano. Well, good morning fuel to hit up Costco because you should never go to Costco on an empty stomach. It's yeah, dangerous for your food. bank account. Yeah, we bought food. But it was $2. But it was $2. One of the best smells in life is when you get, in, like you leave your coffee in the car and you get into your car and it smells like coffee. It smells like dog right now. Really? I think it smells like coffee. We were in and out of Costco so fast I couldn't even whip out my camera, you guys. Like that was so quick. Very adult. I'll show you guys what we get. I'm too excited. I'll show you guys what we got when we get home. But the best part is it was free. Not really because technically I used my own, like, but I overpaid my credit card by like $200 because I had, you know when you pay a credit card and then you have returns that like come back after? So like technically, I guess in a way I did pay for the Costco for my checking this account when I paid my credit card, but in my mind it was free because my credit card was overpaid. Isn't so, it the same thing of having cash in your wallet? It's technically yeah, like when different. you have cash, it's not like you're spending real money. Well, I mean, you are, <laughs> but like, like no, you know when like you, okay, you sell something like Facebook Marketplace? Oh, I know, I know what you mean. And then you're like, I can use this money to treat myself because it's like free money. Free money. Or you're, my favorite is you sell something on Facebook Marketplace and then buy something for the same price as yeah. you showed in your It was basically It was free. even. It, it was it's, even. It's free, it, it doesn't count. I just did a swap. <laughs> My hash brown hit the spot, let me tell you that. I'm also sad because when we ordered, the girl said they had three hash browns, so I ordered two, and then when we got our order, she was like, we only have one, here's some french fries, and I was like, oh. French fries are good though. Okay, that's cool. But we're gonna go to like the Winner's Home Sense look combo now. I have to return a pair of PJs that I got that go fit kind of weird. <laughs> Huh? More. more free money and I bought it on a gift card which is even better when you do a return on the gift card it's like double free money and we're gonna look for I don't know what I really need to get like I really want a new bathrobe mine is just like self-tanned and like gross and like this is my lesson to not self-tan in a bathrobe I just want like a bathrobe I can wear in the mornings it's not covered in self-tan you know but that is that and then we have to go to the post office I have to return a camera lens that didn't work out for me and <laughs> yeah it's true because i already paid that credit card too and then we're gonna go home and have a nice little afternoon and it's gonna be great i wonder how loud this vent has been the whole time yeah not too loud somehow we ended up at home store. depot Look not sure how that speaker. happened where's the nail gun what does it look like this is matt's favorite brand ryobi if you're seeing this we'd love some tools or sponsor matt he'll do a whole sponsored video for y'all tools never end there's a the nail gun Nail so there's gun. A paper and there's a nail gun. Wow. Looking pretty bare in here. <laughs> Do they have any cool like bar stuff? I was looking for one of those like bar tool sets. Mm. But they don't really have any. Uh, okay guys, we are home. It's 1.30. Matt is not going to the movies after all. I think they couldn't get seats together or something. So we're gonna have a nice chill afternoon. I have to do some work, uh, which is fine. I'm gonna edit this video actually. But I figured I'd show you guys what we got because it was a very adulting day. And I'm really proud because we honestly just got what we went in for. Except Matt. I treated Matt to some stuff. Oh, school haul. Not very exciting. Batteries. We'll typically stock up on our protein when it's on sale because it's on sale for like 34 bucks. This is the best, you guys. I am the pickiest when it comes to protein. I've tried so many proteins. This is the smoothest one. It's so good. Those protein bars that we didn't like. I need a deodorant and this is the first time I got at Costco because it's such a better price. You get like four of them for 14 bucks. So I got deodorant. I posted on my story that I've been really liking the CeraVe moisturizer for the winter. Um, I've been struggling with a very broken skin barrier from like just the dryness and this has been amazing. It's so much better than the first day beauty and it's a lot cheaper. 
And a lot of you guys DM'd me and said they had it at Costco on sale right now, so I picked it up. You get like, let's see actually how big they are. So you get like a little travel size one, and then, oh wow, this is like a, holy shit, like a honkin' tub for 16 bucks. That's a good price. Then we went to Marshall's, and we were originally gonna go to Train Yards, which is like our outdoor, like little strip mall, whatever situation because i need a spring jacket i'll show you guys after but my arteryx is on its last legs and i'm not like someone who buys jackets often my arteryx is 10 years old and it was my barn jacket when i was like riding five days a week and it's just like super torn up being i needed a new spring jacket and i just didn't want to spend a ton of money on it so i found one at marshall's and i'm so happy with it because when i looked online at columbia jackets they were like a couple hundred dollars and I always get men's jackets if I can because the sleeves are longer because I'm so tall. So anyways, I found this Columbia jacket. It's a small, a men's small, which is like probably equivalent to like a ladies medium for $99. It's just like a nice like lightweight because the winter here has been really mild. So as much as I love my super puff and I just got it, I haven't had a chance to wear it a lot because it's been really mild. So got a nice spring jacket. Matt just got some gym shorts. <laughs> Not very exciting. Then our last stop was the grocery store. We got some cookies. All the holiday cookies were 50% off. So maybe we'll make some tonight as like a little end of the holiday season treat. So we got elf ones and then the sugar cookies. We had to get peppercorns. Um, we always buy our yogurt 50% off when it's like going bad soon because we can eat a tub of yogurt in like two days. So Matt got the Too Good, which is our favorite, the Danone like two gram of sugar one. It's so yummy. And then garlic bread because Matt's gonna be home for dinner. So we're gonna do like a little spaghetti date night. So that's my haul. We're gonna put all this away. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna take Stella to the dog park. And then I don't know what Matt's gonna do, but I'm gonna edit for a little bit. Where's your little putty marker? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Show them what we got at Home Depot. I gotta put all this away. Love that for me. Whoa. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm sorry, one second. I can put you up the nail marks from the Oh, the nail, the nail that's smart. I didn't know what it was for. Oh, you didn't know what I thought I no. told you. So it's to kind of cover up these holes. Where you put the trim. Yeah, the nail Five dollars. Five dollars. Love that for us. Honestly, a solid adulting haul over here. Let's eat some lunch. Then we can go to the dog park. Yeah. finishing this yesterday in like one sitting it was so good i couldn't stop you finished that in one day yeah oh my god but i don't know what to rate it like I don't know. it's between it was kind of like the last book i talked about it's between a four and a five it wasn't like i couldn't put it down you gotta do that TikTok. but the twist was really stupid but in the second to the second twist it took was really good so i don't know but once again i said it's the beginning that riley sager is like a really hit or miss author for people but I give it like, I think I'm gonna give it 4.25 stars. And then I'm finally gonna try and get through the last thing he told me because it's coming out as a, well, either a TV show or a movie this year, I don't remember, but I'm going to start this. My goal for this year is to get through my TBR. People are like, oh my God, take us on a bookshelf tour. Two of my three bookcases are books I need to read that I thrifted, so. That's that. Matt's making dinner, it's very kind of him. To do that my hair is like i hate freshly <laughs> you just hit me I didn't, I didn't mean to
live action, yellow. Cell Ash. Yeah. One film in which Joanne Kuzak is cast. Is she in a live action? Is it a live action or animated? Wait, wait, wait. It's, I think she plays one of my favorite characters. Wait. <laughs> is Joan Cusack Jesse from Toy Story? Yes, she is. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the red. Black. Two characters who are scientists. We're playing Disney oh, trivia. Um, no one knows. Oh, um. <laughs> Two a characters? Yeah. I got fact check this. Me no, Meep not Meep. Character. Um <laughs> Meep. The dude from the, Meep is from American Horror the, Story. The dude from the Muppets. Those oh. two. Uh Abby? No. Um Well technically the dude from Big Hero Six, um the brother. Yeah. Also, think of okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. Pull the lever, Kronk! She's not a scientist. Yes, she is. What is it what is her what is I don't know any of their names right now, I'm blanking. Yzma? Oh my, see? She's Yisma? a she's a scientist. Okay, no, no, but who am I thinking? Burp? No, Burp? From the Muppets? Yeah, from the Muppets. Remember the, the, them in the... And then they would have those goggles that you can make anything you wanted appear? Dr. Honeydew. And what this was guy? the other dude? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Honeydew, because we love Tim Tracker and, and he loves the Muppets. Beaker. Beaker! That's what I was That's thinking That's who I was thinking of. <laughs> this is fun. Um... Okay. Who else, you did who else it. supposed to be a scientist? It says Mickey Mouse, but I don't understand. It must be in a movie. Oh, yeah, you were Tadashi Hamada. That's the guy from Big Hero 6. Yes. Yeah, I was not. Oh, there technically you. Syndrome from um, the new Incredibles movie. Of course! How can we forget Jumba Jakuba from Stitch? <laughs> oh, yeah, Jumba Jakuba. Also, everyone knows who this character is, but no one knows, knows his, his name. name. <laughs> Who's the other dude that works with him? Pleakly. Uh, okay, Coco. There's a lot of skulls in Coco. It's all dead people. Fair enough. Okay, fair I'm enough. I'm a little lost, but fair, fair enough. enough. Another movie that there's a skull. I'm already thinking of one, and I'm ready. Really? Yeah. Skulls or skeleton? Oh. Spooky, scary skeletons. That's technically one of the first Disney movies ever. Where they all do that dance in the line. Uh, that counts, because it was one of the first films. Okay, give me one more. Cause come on, that was an easy one. That's the dirty, spooky, scary skeleton. Like, <laughs> what is it? Coco. I can't think of another one. Princess and the Frog. The Voodoo Man. He's got skulls oh, everywhere. Right, right, voodoo, does. voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll. I got friends on, on the other side. side. He's got friends on, on the other side. side. Two titles in which a character rides a bicycle. Coco, I think, has one where he's riding a bike. Sure, I'll give you that. Does he ride a bike in there? I'll have to fact check that. I thought right, there is a bike in it. Because what's his name? James Marsden gets run over by a bike. So you're right in that. Okay. That's fact checked. What's the next one? I can't think of it. Luca. Is there already a bike? That's a guy? Vespa. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. You know, when you're right, we're Black. right. That she is a superhero. <laughs> so everybody look at Stella's cape. What are you trying to tell us? Are you chilly? <laughs> are you cold? Are you trying to go for a walk? What are you trying to tell us?